Anger in Israel is growing against the Netanyahu government. Thousands of demonstrators have taken to the streets demanding the removal of Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and an end to the war in Gaza. Demonstrations took place at the Habama Square with some blaming Netanyahu and other officials for Hamas attacks of October 7th. Meanwhile, in Jerusalem, people gathered in front of the house of the Israeli president to demand the release of hostages held by Hamas. Demonstrators held signs bearing pictures of hostages' faces and messages such as, and I'm quoting here, get them out of hell. I think the, the government should do everything they can do to bring them back home. It's so, so many days, too, too many days that they're there. Only to be here to demand a ceasefire now and a political solution now and to convey our voices and to shout as loud as we can even through the repression that we are experiencing right now and even though no one wants us to voice those voices it's more important than ever for us to do voice them and to say however loud we can and whenever we can it's important for me to be a part of this to be part of the solution and not a part of the problem and this is seen as one of the major anti-government demonstrations since the war began on October 7th. Demonstrators called for elections as they came out on the streets of Tel Aviv. More than 100 people are still believed to be in Hamas's captivity. And Sunday marks 100 days since the October 7th attack, after which Israel launched an offensive aimed at wiping out Hamas. Israeli offensive has so far killed over 22,000 people in Gaza, during a temporary truce in November, Hamas released 105 hostages in a mutually agreed hostage exchange between Hamas and Israel.